So hello everyone, it's Recharger here. This time I'm trying to do a much louder video because some people have said that the latest or the one before video I filmed was too quiet for some reason. I have no idea why because my face is literally next to the camera. So I have no idea what's up with that, so how to change that or what because I'm not doing I'm doing this all in one take. No edits whatsoever because I'm not really, I really don't know how to do it properly, Properly, at least not yet. I have nobody yet, nobody to ask to how to do this stuff. So that's that. So I'm trying to do everything in one take, like I said. So, yes, this is another weekly video. And we have a lot of stuff here. So we got main lines. As usually, we have six main lines. Could be this one. Here we go. And this one. There you go. Six main lines for this video. Then from Hot Wheels, we also have a team transport. At first, I didn't want this uh, team. I just wanted the car, but as I've been looking at this, I realized that, yeah, I'll keep it all. I do actually like it. The entire set. So that's that. <clears throat> Put that there. Uh, from Hot Wheels, we also have this. The 96 Chevy Impala SS from the Boulevard series. I already opened the other cars from this. I don't know why I didn't open this with those cars when, when I was doing the T1 bus. And... Dodge van, I think, or I forgot what, what was in this. Oh, yeah, just in the back, right? The yeah. So I should have opened this when I was opening the T1. I don't know why I didn't. It's, it's like I have my own sorting system. How I decide uh, randomly what I'm going to be opening, or if there's something that I want to open really quickly, then I'll do that on the video. I don't know. Like I said, but in this case, like from the trucks set, I would like to get all of these, but I only have recently got this one and this one. Still haven't, still missing those. So in this video, I'll be opening the Datsun and the Ford since I got them. And eventually, if I do end up getting more of those out of the set, I want this one the most, but I have not seen it anywhere. Nobody has offered it anywhere. I haven't seen it. At least I'm not I'm, I'm not checking on eBay because Sending stuff to my country is very expensive Especially through eBay The shipping at least the costs are very high. So yeah, this is the 72 4 Ranchero from the truck series. I have no idea when these were 2016 okay That's a while ago that, that explains the card as you can see are much smaller back then <clears throat> and here's the Datsun 620 very cool I really like the color rims are very interesting then we have some matchbox so this one the Plymouth Savoy very cool I have that one in black and I recently found this guy, the, the from the moving parts, the 1950 Chevy Suburban. I have this one with the like, uh, I don't know, some some design on it. So it's like light yellow. I mean, light green or something. This one's like dark green. And in the future, I'll be getting a red one also. So this one's very cool. I really like this model. Put that there. Um, next up we have the Tarmac Works, a Dodge van. I saw this one on, um, I didn't even know this one existed until um, one of the channels I was watching, I think it was like Lamling Group or something, and I saw them opening this, and as, well, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to get this myself, and yeah, my, I, I asked my local, local um Car dealer, I mean model dealer, sorry, <laughs> car dealer, I uh, can get this. And yeah, I was lucky enough to get it. 
of that. And as usually, uh, we got one other world. So this one is the red line tree coat? Tree coat? What is that? Tree, tree coat. Okay, that's weird. But no, no, that's the color of the car. But this is the 2018 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Another Hellcat for my collection. I think it's going to be my fourth version, at least color version, of the Hellcat. That is very cool. And the last car for this video that we'll be doing is the 1969 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. So this one is comes from the Gold Classics. This means uh, these castings are being used. At least that's what I think. I have heard that uh, if the Gold Classic cars uh, from Johnny Lightning, uh, these are actually Auto World castings. So I'm gonna definitely grab more of these as in the future as soon as well if if I can, because I really really like the Auto World car models. Sadly, they're not very popular here where I live so as these Johnny Lightnings but I can get more Johnny Lightnings than I can get all the worlds so yeah that's that so let's 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 start with something I know I have this stuff now all in all over in the background let's start as usual with the main lines so this is the 60s I mean 64 Corvette Stingray uh, from the race day set and there we go this one nice red i wish there was a number in that circle it look much cooler oh the sun is like really bright it, before i wanted to start the video the sun wasn't that bright and was so nice for filming and suddenly as soon as I decided to film it decides to be super bright yeah but there you go our little stingray corvette what's that next up we have another corvette and this is the 2019 corvette zr1 convertible from the hot wheels turk this one I like the red rims we have here very nice very nice like overall the convertible like the hardtop even looks very amazing um, oh wait I forgot to check like I know I've usually you usually do the year okay I don't know I don't know what what year release was this one because um, the package has uh, what when it debuted I wonder um 2019 it could be from 2019 yeah 2019 maybe 20 I don't know there we go a very cool looking Corvette next up we'll do another Corvette actually <laughs> will be the 76 green greenwood Corvette this one also this casting all colors I see no matter how good or bad it looks I collect all of them uh, and this one comes from the Hot Wheels con Contoured. It's the aerodynamic cars. Wow. Is it blue? I thought it was black. What? Wow. All this time I thought it was black. Apparently it's not. It's blue. It's like very, very dark blue. See? There's oh, there's some. Issues on the top, sadly. Uh, no. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. Rolls amazing as always. That's the side. Next up, we have a Mazda RX3 from Nightburners. There we go. It's the nice green version. I really like this green one ready stuff on it there you go nice closer look now we have no design on the front or the back we have a separate bumper because of the bottom nice wide body little 
RX3. Really, really like this car. <clears throat> Next up, we have the custom Ford Maverick from Muscle Mania. This one comes from 2019. This this specific one. I don't know when it, de it debuted. Debuted from when? When? When are you from? 2017. Okay. So not that long ago. That's nice. And we have a separate grill, separate rear lights, design top, size, I don't know, a wide bodied Maverick. I don't know if it comes like this in stock, but. <laughs> oh, wait, it says custom. Duh. Yeah. Okay. And last up for the main lines, we have the Ford 40 Ford pickup. Which is a drag car, of course, coming from the Hot Wheels drag strip lineup. I have a red one somewhere. Probably in the future videos will be open. And this one was showed up for the first time in this color in 2022. Yeah, sadly, I wish they would have done at least like maybe the grill or the on the hood. It's not that like. The light sword and the grill, I don't know. Very little done with this one. Wish there was more done with this one. Like it's 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 so such a cool looking race truck, drag drag truck, but yeah. It is what it is. Okay, let's put those to the side. Next we'll do mainline punch box, the Plymouth Savoy. Well, that didn't come out the way I wanted. Mm. I'll have to use a knife. There we go. Mm, this one came out in 2021. So this means this one is older than the black one. <clears throat> because the black one I think I got last year or something. Okay, we got tail lights saying Savoy on the rear license plate, which is super cool. We got the chrome front, chrome bottom. Very like I like the steely wheels that they do on classic cars. So this one is pretty amazing. Of course, it's a roller. There we go. Next up, we have the moving parts. I didn't read that one. It's the moving parts 1950 Chevy Suburban. There we go. Uh, this one's from 2022. Okay. I found it only like I found this only recently in the store. There's the hood. There's some engine details. Nice, nice. We got a license plate on the back, not on the front, but see? Just give some lights to the car and it will look amazing. Overall, fantastic looking truck. There we go, that one's that. Well, let's start getting in some premium stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll start with the Impala. There we go. I think it was easier to open it from the bottom. There we go. Nice clean black. Yeah, this is. No, oh, that wasn't better. There we go, got some details on the front, back. You got this line around the window. I've seen some people having issues where the line is printed lower for some reason. I think it's just how the cars pass the like stamping machine or whatever it's called. Just somehow misaligned and stamped it in the wrong spot. But overall, I really like how this looks. 
Very nice job. Very nice. All we now need is a crown vic. Like this. It'll be fantastic. Okay, let's get these trucks out of the way. The Datsun 620. Wow, this one was already ready to come out. Oh, these 2016 out. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, like you can see the wheels, the metal base, this like chrome, old chrome. Got the dots and stuff. Printed. It's not printed, sorry, it's, it's stamped in, so it's like part of the car. No major details on the front, so I think that's the old ways how they do, did these cars. Since I saw the article collecting these like two years ago, and the premium cars, then I have I have no idea how they did them before that. So there we go. That's that one. Next up, we have this one, the seventy to four inch Aero. Phenomenally cool. I will, put, I will probably put this one next to the Ford Gran Torino because it has the same front end. And I have seen this thing in real life. I think in my town somebody has this thing. And whew, this thing is freaking long. It's like limousine long. Because you cannot compare it like with the Hot Wheels cars because I know this car is pretty long, but in real life this thing is way longer than this even. Oh yeah, super cool rims. Really do like these. Where's rubber tires? You got scratched window. Huh, that's weird. Oh, overall the design, everything is fine. I really do like this. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. And we have these the team transport, the 70 Rover P6 Group 2 with the Hot Wheels Rally Hauler. There we go. Come out, come out. Okay, there we go. On the way, okay. Yep, this guy first. Then the car with the trailer, okay. So I am, I am seeing this thing and holding in my hands for the first time. I think this is way too big, but maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Put some extra wheels, just you know, buy the separate custom tires and just stack them inside here. Give it more realism. <clears throat> My voice just broke. That's weird. Yeah, an interesting little car. Very heavy. It's like a little tiny box. Here's the trailer. It is all out metal. Rubber tires. Okay, this, this bit is plastic. But the trailer itself, it's metal. So this is a cool, cool, cool thing. You know? And you can hook it up to the... Rally hauler or whatever it's called. Pretty cool. And the one that I want the most is this rover. So I have the red rover which showed up for the first time. If I'm not wrong, last year? Or was this year? I'm not 100 percent short, don't can't remember. Too many cars coming out, especially from Hot Wheels. It's, it's kind of keep keep get free start to forget stuff. Yeah, okay, it's not focusing. Focus. I'm gonna show this closer. Yeah, that is very cool. Very nice. Sorry for shaky hands. A lot of stress rate lately. There we go. Rolls. Oh, hello. I thought that. Look, we have a tiny, tiny issue right there. Then I think that is mainly because it was sitting on that trailer. 
or something like that. I have no idea what, what, what is that. But I'm not planning to play around with these much. <laughs> there we go. That looks amazing. Yeah, you can put basically any rally car on the back. So, although I don't have any other rally cars, that, at least I don't think I have from Hot Wheels. Yeah, there you go. You can tow this oh wait 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 right there okay <sighs> okay next up global 64 tarmac works dodge van how do i open you oh okay, there we go like, this is gonna be my second tarmac works model in my collection but I'm planning to get some more in the future because they are very good looking. Sadly, they just don't make the stuff that I'm really interested in too much. At least, oh, you've even got a separate exhaust. That is cool. Look at that. That is supposed to be like that. Eh. Weird. What? Oh, okay. Keep forgetting that the window bit, I mean the mirrors, they're like rubbery. Very, 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 I don't want to touch them. They're like very, very um, easily to break off, probably. So I'm not touching those. Like this van looks all amazing. Look, like we have the front lights crossed out. There's the number. D van OP. <laughs> That's cool. That is very cool. Like, this looks amazing. It's very light though for its size. Oh, I know why. It has a metal, I mean, a plastic bottom. So this thing is very um, light for 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 its size. Like comparing to this this guy, this thing is super heavy comparing to this one. So this like. This thing is like metal on metal, very heavy, or this one isn't. Like, look at the wheels. Wheels are fantastic. Yeah. Hope to get some more stuff, good stuff from. It's a nice roller, not bad. I also forgot to check the details on the inside. And can we see something in there? Yeah, there are seats. Or something like that. Or is it empty? Okay, well, no, it, it has only... Okay, it has only front seats. There's nothing in the back. So it is an actual van. Not a passenger van. It's a like a... I don't know what, what you call it, like a... Baggage van, I don't know, but there you go. Oh, this thing is fantastic. And last two cars to go today, so we'll start with the all the world. So, there are your interesting facts about it. I already have read them, so this one's the red line tree coat color. Fantastic looking colors. Since I don't collect the ultra reds, then this is like the closest thing. Like I want to order a box, but I'm scared to get an ultra red because my country they cost nothing. And yeah, I don't really want to end up having a, uh, to find a uh, chase car for these. Uh, for the, the can't speak, sorry, for the other world cars. So we have the opening hood. With some details in there. You get the sun, see? Fantastic details. I love it. Shuts very, very nicely. Overall, we got all the stuff there. In the front, in the back. Metal on metal, of course. Rolls very nicely. Can't argue with this thing. 
fantastic car. Hope to see more, get more in the future. And the last car for this video is the Johnny Lightning Mercury 69 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. And this one comes in bright blue. What is that color? Oh, okay, bright blue poly. There's some facts if you want to read those. And yeah, let's see. Let's look at this closer. And there we go. And for a second, there, I thought the wheels don't spin. Well, they're spinning, they're spinning, everything is fine. It's metal on metal. It looks plastic, but it's metal on metal. And rubber tires, of course. I have no idea if this has an opening hood. I don't think it does. No, it does not want to open, so I don't think it opens. Although, does it say on the box, does it have an opening? Dynas metal body chassis, authentic factory color. Yeah, it doesn't say it has opening parts, so... Yeah. Not an opening hood. But that's not a problem for me. It is cool to have good looking like parts and make them look good enough uh, when they even open and there's no massive gaps like for example see for this one you see that gap in the front and there's no gaps for this one although this one doesn't open but it is a separate piece the hood is a separate piece i don't know why it is but it is no no I'm surprised that this car has been sitting in the hobby dealer's store for so long. Because I have had other priorities to buy. In the... But now even I'm feeling shamed that I didn't pick this thing up earlier. Because it's fantastic. It looks fantastic. Building wise, yeah, it's fine. Not that bad. It looks a little bit... No, I think it's fine. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> well, let me just put everything in the same spot so you can have a nice picture for my thumbnail. While I'm doing this, you can might as well hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed because I am trying to film these videos now every weekend if my if everything goes according to plans and I'll put that on one there there you go thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye